In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make the ultimate survival watch. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is to take the tape measure, bring it out, and set it on the table. Next, take a length of paracord, and we're going to measure our wrist size. Just Okay, so you take your length and measure it. And my wrist size is 7 inches, so that's going to be the size of the watch band. Okay, next you'll take your two 5 foot lengths of paracord. They can be one color or two. I chose desert camel and black. And also your buckle. This is a survival buckle. It has flint and steel, and this is also a blade right there, and also a whistle. So we're going to take the female end, and we can set this one aside, and then we'll take one of the lengths of paracord, and we'll loop it through the buckle. First we'll take the two ends of the strands, pinch it at the halfway mark, and then push it through. Take your needle nose pliers, pull it through, and then pull it tight. We'll do the same thing on this side with this color paracord. Pinch at the halfway mark, put it through, you know, nose, and pull it through. Okay, now it's all attached. Next thing we'll do is to take the two outer strands of paracord and pull them behind. We'll just keep these out of the way for now. We don't need them. Then we'll take our watch and we'll feed it through the two bars right here. These two strands through the two bars. And also we'll feed the paracord through the compass. It has a little clip right there so we'll just feed it right through there. So we're going to go up and over and come back up. Same thing with the black. And pull it through. Next, we'll take this compass and do the same thing. Might need to push it so it stays open. Okay. Now it should look something like this. Okay, the next step is to take the male end of the buckle and we'll feed the paracord up through this part and back through. So I got this. We'll go up and over and pull it through. Might get a couple kinks, so just get those out. Okay, looks good. We'll do the same thing with the black. and over.
I need to shorten it up a little bit. The length of mine is supposed to be seven inches, so I need to pull a little tighter. Just, you can always adjust it. That looks good. I'm gonna leave a little extra length so it's not super tight. Yeah, about a fourth of an inch I'll leave just to so it's not super tight. Okay. Now we have that. We'll loop the paracord. up and over pull that tight okay that looks nice and we'll just pull it to the side so it's out of our way and we'll do the same thing with the black go up and over now I'm gonna try it on just to try it on for size so we can make some adjustments before we finalize it. There we go. It's always kind of hard to get on by yourself. Okay, that's a good bit. It's pretty loose. So yeah, that looks good. Okay, now that I have the watch to the correct size, let's do a simple overhand knot on the male end. So you go under, come up, and through the loop. Just tighten it down. Make sure to pull so it stays up near the buckle. Okay, pull that tight. We'll do the same thing on this side. Down and up and over. That looks good. Now all we have to do is cut the ends of these strands and then we can burn them. So let's take the scissors. Don't want to cut too close to the knot. We'll take a big lighter and carefully burn that. You can use the pliers to squish it down. Do the next one. Okay, next we'll start our cobra weave. First we'll take this side of the strand and we'll make a loop and with this black side, we'll come over and through the loop. Just pull it tight. Just like so. You can push it up too. Perfect. Okay. Then we're going to start with this side again. Create the loop. Come over and up and through. Pull it tight. Okay, let's continue again. Up. 
over and through. Okay, just continue this process till you make it to the point right here. Okay, once you've reached the midpoint, we're going to take these two strands and feed it through the two bars right here, like we did earlier. After these two strands are pulled through the watch, we're going to continue the cobra weave until we reach the compass. Okay, once you've reached the compass, we're going to pull the two remaining strands through and then we'll continue the cover weave till we reach the very end. I think we can put a few more knots through. Okay, this is our last weave right here. Go under. Yeah, that looks good. Let's even that up a little bit. Okay, there we go. That's what it looks like. Now that we're finished with our weave, we're ready to cut these two ends and then burn it with the lighter. So you want to cut it pretty close, but don't want to cut it so that's going to slip after you burn it. So that's good. Okay. Now I'll take the lighter.
I will use the needle nose to push it up against the cord. You don't want to melt it too much so that it's hard to take off in a survival situation. So that's about just right, right there. Let's do this with the other side. Okay, it looks good. So there you have it. I really like how the survival watch turned out. He has some really cool features for the great outdoors, like the watch that has a date and time, the compass, and the survival buckle, which has a flint and steel. And a whistle. Also, for more casual wear, I've made extra watch bands that are connected to shackles, and these can be easily interchanged with the main watch. I'll show you how to do that next. To change the watch band, you'll need a small flathead screwdriver, or you can use your fingernails, but I'll just use the flathead screwdriver. So the first thing you'll do is to take the screwdriver and you'll see on these bars they have a small little indentation right there and you want to take your small flathead screwdriver put into that groove and compress this bar there's a spring inside so when you pull it back it will compress and it will fall out of the hole and then you can take it like this just set it aside we'll do the same thing on this side Now that we have the original watch band to remove, we're ready to install the black one. So we'll take it, just place it over the watch. You'll grab one of the bars and use your fingernail to compress it. into the hole and do that same process on this side okay that looks good Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe.